Hello, everybody. It's Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me for a new Tuesday tip video. So today is probably going to be my all-time favorite video I've ever shot. I am going to be sharing with you seven of my top favorite downloads. These are the downloads every paper crafter needs. This is a resource you are going to be so glad you have in your stamp room. Uh, they're all a little bit different. I'm going to share each one with you, and I've even got a link where you can download and print uh, these uh, fabulous resources for yourself. Are you ready to hear my top seven downloads? Okay, let's get started. You know, understanding measurements and how to layer cardstock, how to read a ruler, you know, it's things we learned way back when in grade school, but you know, many of us haven't been in grade school in a long time. So I have a download for you that's going to give you some really great basic borders so that you can create uh, some simple layered cards. I've also got a download here for you. Uh, or in this download is how to read a ruler. You know, it's, it's great when we're dealing with quarters. Maybe if we're dealing with halves, we're great. We get into those eights and we get confused. So I've got just kind of a big oversized image of a one inch ruler and you can see uh, it's just going to get, all your eights are going to be um, odd numbers, one, three, five, and seven. And yet you can see those are just gonna go in between your quarters. So we go from one and one and a quarter in between one and an eighth. One quarter to one half in between three eighths. You know, sometimes just having that image there really helps you when you need uh, those eights, even those sixteenths. Oh my goodness, they just drive us crazy. But we've got also over here, like I said, if you want an eighth inch border or a sixteen inch inch border. I'll help you know what size to cut your cardstock. A fabulous little download. You're going to definitely want to print that one out. Well, that's kind of just a big old hot mess of numbers, isn't it? Well, let me tell you, this download is going to be the download that will change your life. I guarantee you. This is what I like to call my ultimate cutting guide. If you've ever struggled with the direction of, to, uh, you know, what direction to cut cardstock to get the most out of your cardstock, this is going to be a lifesaver. Let me show you how it works. So this cutting guide is for your eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So I've got a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock here. Let's say I'm looking to cut some pieces that are two by three. I'm going to come over to my chart. This would be the eight and a half side. This of course is your 11 inch side. So let's say if we go two by three and we're just gonna come over two to the three. That means I know I can get 12 pieces of cardstock if I cut it two inches on the eight and a half and uh, do my three inches on the 11 and a half. Let's swap that around. And now let's go, here's the two. We're gonna come down here to the three. Oh, look at that, we only get 10. So that instantly tells me this is the side I need to cut my three inches. Let me just go ahead and show you. So with that 11 inches up at the top, I can cut my three inch pieces. And by the way, you, you recognize that that guide is gonna give this uh, for just about anything that you need. So there's that, that is obviously gonna be some scraps. So there are those pieces. Now if we rotate it around and cut it at two inches, I now have 12 pieces instead of 10 because I used my chart to figure out what is going to give me the most bang for my buck? And that would be cutting this direction. And guys, I have all of these in um, quarter, or I'm sorry, half inches. So it starts at one half, three quarters, one, one and a quarter, one and a half. So no matter what size you need, of course, we're going to take you up all the way to five and three quarters of an inch. And that way you'll know exactly how much cardstock you can get out of a piece of eight and a half by 11. But what about when you're working with designer series paper or 12 by 12 cardstock? Hey, we need a guide for that as well, because sometimes we just want to know how many pieces am I going to get out of that piece of 12 by 12 cardstock or designer series paper? Let's say we want some pieces that are, oh, maybe a one inch by five inch. Let's do that. So here's one inch. Here's five inch. 
And let's see. Oh, it looks like we get 24 pieces. Well, that's great if I'm doing a big project and I want to know how much cardstock am I going to need? Well, that it tells me right there. I'm going to need, I'm going to get 24 cards with that one by five inch. Let's do another one. Maybe we're going to go two and a half by three and a half. So two and a half by three and a half, I come down and I meet there, I'll get 12. I instantly know I get 12. If I need four and a half by two, let's see, we get, yep, we're going to get 12 on that one as well. This is going to save you your designer series paper and your 12 by 12 cardstock. Keep this handy. And let me tell you, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my 12 or my eight and a half by 11. What I do, I put these together. And I slide this into a page protector because, of course, when I'm using it at my desk, it's going to get ink on it. You know that. And uh, now I can just flip it over. And you might even want to highlight right here, whether it's the 12 by 12 or the 8.5 by 11. I have those numbers on there. Guys, it really is a fantastic download. You're going to love these. So we were just talking about designer series paper, and I don't know if you have the struggle that I do, but sometimes I'll get a, a piece of designer series paper and I go, what color is that? Is it Mary Merlot? Is it Cherry Cobbler? I'm not sure. I think that's Cajun Craze, but it's kind of dark. Is that Crushed Curry? Is it Daffodil Delight? Ah, well, you know, I really do struggle with it too. And guys, that's what this chart is going to do for you. So this is for the 2223 uh, designer series paper. This will cover everything that is in the annual catalog and the July through December catalog. So this paper that I just shared with you, is right here. It's the Rustic Harvest. And look at that. It is Mary Merlot. It is Cajun Craze. And it is Crushed Curry. And it's going to have all the colors in that paper. It'll even have the item number and the page number so that if you need to go back and order or if you need to go back and see the uh, the designer series paper, you've got a reference where to go. I printed mine out on cardstock and I just kind of hang this. I've got a wall behind uh, my my stamping space so that when I am not sure about a color, I can just look. By the way, this one is double sided because I've also got the specialty. I've got the six by six and of course the host designer series paper, which is awesome. A wonderful little download. I think it's going to come in very, very handy for you. And let's segue right into colors because, yes, we do struggle with colors. Guys, I've got this 2022-2023 color chart for you. Whenever you're just not sure what color is what, if you have this chart handy, it's going to save you so much trouble because you can go sweet sorbet, poppy parade. Well, you know what? You'll be able to hold it up here. And right underneath, I've even got the item numbers for the cardstock and the ink pad. So when you're ready to order, maybe you have misplaced your ink pad. Yes, we've all done it. Or you're ready for some more poppy parade cardstock. You'll have those item numbers, but more than anything, you've got this great chart with all the colors so you can see them all at once. Now, you don't have to go pull out your catalog to do that. Have this chart handy. This is another one that would be great to slide into a page protector to keep it nice and pristine. And when you're ready to order, you can just scan right here on your phone. Scan, it'll take you directly to my online store with Stampin' Up. You can order what you need right there because, you know, you've got all your numbers. You've got all your item numbers right there. You'll be ready to go. Now, don't forget to head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the August 2nd, 2022 post, and that's where you're going to find the link for all seven downloads. If you want the easy method, there's a link down in the YouTube description that you can just click on. It'll take you over to my post for today, and you'll find all those downloads for you. And trust me, these are a must-have in your uh, crafting space. You're going to love them. Okay, I've got just a couple more to share with you, so let's finish up. Now, if you struggle with color combinations, and I know it's a struggle for a lot of us, you're going to love this download. These are uh, Stampin' Up's color combo. So we kind of call it a color coach. So for instance, here, and there's different ways that you can put them together. So this card in particular is Pool Party, and it's going to show you uh, three different color combinations that work quite well with Pool Party. So Pool Party, Shaded Spruce, and Mary Merlot. Pool Party, Calypso Coral, and Highland Heather. Pool Party, Pacific Point, and Mellow Moss. And you see, I put it here on a piece of Pool Party cardstock. So that makes it even easier. And then you can see, you can just go through, there's my Bermuda Bay, 
Pacific Point, Coastal Cabana. These are all my brights. And what I did here is I just simply used an office punch, punched a hole in the top, tied it up with ribbon. Of course, I need to do this with all of the Color Coach cards. This is just the brights, but I wanted to be able to show that to you. Here's another version that I did. This one's kind of nice. I cut it down a little smaller, and these are also double-sided. Do you recognize what these are? Badge holders. Guys, you can just order these online. You can find them at an office supply. This was another really great way to create a little book. Again, uh, this is just part of it, so I could show you, but I just cut those down. Again, double-sided, so we've got some Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, and there's all those colors. It would be so great to just flip through your color chart. I've got one more to share with you. And this one is like what I like to call my heavy duty. It's it's really awesome. Now this one, um, these are actually baseball card protectors. Now you get a lot of these when you order them, but what's nice is this is a really, really firm plastic. By the way, uh, I found these at a local department store um, and they are with the baseball cards. Wherever they sell baseball cards, that's where they will sell these. Now they have some really, really thin ones and they're okay, but for this, I would definitely go with these thicker ones. And, uh, you know, I really just cut them just like this where I layered my color coach pieces onto the matching cardstock. You can see the matching cardstock there and uh, punched a hole. Yes, you can punch a hole. This one I decided to put together with a book clip. So you have some options there as well. You know what else you could do? If you have a color combination that you like, you could either write it in or you could put, uh, punch some circles or images and just put some of your favorite color combinations there as well. Now let me show you the actual download. So uh, this one, um, you can see these are all the in colors, but you'll get all of the colors in the download. But I just wanted to bring in these two. There's gonna be simple lines for you to cut. You can cut in if you need to. You decide how you want to cut them, but guys, all 50 colors are in that download. No more worries about color combinations. Take some time, your crafting time, to cut these up and create yourself an awesome and very user-friendly color coach. So yes, I do love my color coach. I use it a lot, but you know what else? I have used this little uh, book of colors quite a bit. I made myself just a simple cover for mine, but I have all of Stampin' Up's colors here in this book, all right? I keep reusing it, I've had it for years. Here is what I do with this. This is four and a quarter by five and a half, so an A2 card size. When I have created an image and I'm looking for what color is that going to look best with, you see, I can just flip through my card. Oh, look at that, with Rich Razzleberry. That's actually really pretty, isn't it? By the way, I can see it's Rich Razzleberry because I have a free download for you. Yes, you're gonna have, this is standard um, Avery address labels. You guys probably have sheets of those, um, or you might even be able to go to the office supply and get them printed. But you can see here, you'll put this on the back of your card stock. It has um, the item number so that you can reorder. But this is what I do is, you know, sometimes I'm just like, I just, I just, just do not know what color I want to use. And just flipping through my book, you know what? I got to tell you guys, honestly, sometimes I see color combinations I would have never dreamed of. Looks good there on the Blackberry Bliss. Actually, not even too bad on the Petal Pink. Um, so yeah, this is how I know if I have a great uh, stamped image, I can easily figure out which color I want to use. And you can see, you're just gonna print out your labels. All the labels are on there, stick them to the back. Now let's talk about uh, the cardstock itself. On page 126 of the Stampin' Up! catalog, you're gonna see assortments and bundles. And did you know that you could get an assorted collection of the cardstock, brights, neutrals, regals, subtles? And there's your in colors as well. If you purchase those packs, you're gonna get two sheets of each of the 10 colors and you can create yourself this fabulous little book 
and let me just be real clear. I use it over and over and over and over again. I mean, I made this years ago. The only thing I change is when I'm adding the new in colors. That's the only thing I change every year. And it is a wonderful way to get all those colors without having to buy a ton of cardstock. And of course, you're going to have plenty left that you're going to be able to work with. Really great way that you can order those and you are going to be able to create that incredible little book. It is always my hope that the videos that I share are helpful. If you like this one, would you give me a thumbs up on YouTube? I always appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, take a moment to click the Great Big Red subscribe button and YouTube can let you know whenever I am back with a new video. I'd love to have you join the channel. Thank you again, everyone, for being here. I sure do appreciate you. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.